Hey guys, I am back in two man. Red Hope Day goes a little better than the last few. I've had camera problems, I've had microphone problems, I've had camera and microphone problems, but at least I've been catching some fish and trying to make some videos. Been here twice this year. That's it. This is my third time here. Uh, first time it was deep, it was crankbaits and it was jigs. And I came back second time thinking, all right, here we go, crankbaits and jigs, and it was nothing but chatterbaits the second time here. So this third time, I have no idea, but we're just going to keep trying stuff till we catch some fish. Stick with me. All right, come on, chatter. There we go. I was just like, come on, chatterbait, pay off, and it did right there. Good timing, fish. Good timing. There we go. That's a decent fish right there. All right, probably 15, 14 and a half. On a chatterbait, and guys, this is my homemade. This is a shaky head with a keeper on the front. I put a chatterbait blade on it and I can actually fish a chatterbait weedless. So a shaky head with a chatterbait blade. Oh, got him. He hit it when I hit the water. I thought it was in a snag. <laughs> Until it started going sideways, then I knew it different. He hit it right when it hit the water. I thought I landed on some vegetation. <laughs> yeah, buddy, thank you. <laughs> I got lucky on that one. There we go, guys. That yeah, turns around a little bit here. There we go. Not real big. Changed chatterbait. More of a conventional style. Orange trailer. Got a June bug, I think, trailer on it or a skirt. Another one of these I put together. Tell you what, it just, it must have landed right on top of him. I don't know if he hit it or if he was just trying to defend himself. I'm not sure which, but I thought I was on a snag till it went sideways. All right, now we're gonna get to a lot of timber in the water. Now we're gonna have a chance to dig the jig out. See if we can do some stuff with the jig to boot. All right, guys, we're gonna come down this side. We're mainly gonna work with a crankbait here. There we go. I found a fish with it. It ain't very big. But it's a fish. We'll take it. It's been a while since I had one. So, take whatever we can get. Yeah, even though you're little. I ain't little. <laughs> Alright, we're doing a crankbait down here because this is the deeper side. Not gonna have, it's not as shallow, we're not gonna have as much vegetation. Uh, we get to a tree, we'll still uh, grab the other rod and pull out the jig, but it's a little deeper here. We run a crankbait most of the time. Got a couple spots that are shallow, might bring that chatterbait back, but otherwise we're gonna try this one. side. Paid to come back. There we go. About like the first one. I like that. Yes, it did. About 15, 16. Paid to come back to the north side. That chatter paid again. All right, guys, we made this switch back to the north side because the south wasn't working. We did the chatterbait, we picked up one more. Now, this stretch going down, it's a little bit deeper, and I've been picking up some vegetation out farther. So now what I'm gonna do, we're gonna switch on, switching over to a crankbait. We're probably not gonna put it right up on the shore. We're gonna stay out a little ways because there is some vegetation out there. We're gonna try a fish in that vegetation. See if we can find it with a crankbait. Now. We're going to get hung up probably quite a bit in the vegetation, but 
I'm figuring sometimes I think it's worth it and it worked for me the other day. We're going to try it again today. That's a big glob there. That glob's got a fight to it though. Yeah, that glob of vegetation's got a fight to it. Ooh, that's nice. That's real nice. And they got a lot of vegetation with it. Not as much vegetation as I got the fish. Mm. Ooh, there we go, get rid of the vegetation. Let me back up quick so I don't get in the trees. Woo! Get out of your ways, guys. There we go, how's that? I like that. That was worth coming back to this side for us, but you do it right there. I think I've tried about everything. There we go. That is a nice fish. We're going to put a weight on this one, all right? All right, guys, there we go. 19 inches, 3 and 3 quarter pounds. Nice fish. There we go. Found one off that tree. Oh, I lost. Did I lose him or is he coming close to him? I think he's coming towards me for a minute. That means not real big. There we go. A little guy. This so looks like this side of the lake has all the little fish, huh? Uh, hang on. There we go. Get a grip on you there. In close to that tree. I thought I had it. I got it. Just <laughs> look on his teeth. There we go, guys. They're not real big. Whew. Well, guys, not a bad day. I'd like to caught a few more fish, but I could probably say that every time I go fishing. A couple decent over 15. Had that one really nice big one. I like that. I tell you, if you didn't find the vegetation, you didn't find the fish today. They were on the north side. We did pick two on this side, both little dinks. Uh, you had to be around the vegetation. You had to fight it sometimes. But uh, sometimes that's what it takes to find a fish. Hey, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.